Do you find yourself, as I often do, in an antique shop and really fancy a pint? Well, bizarrely enough, there's a place in Norwich where you can do just that. This unassuming shop front on St. Benedict Street is actually the home to Arboretum, a venue that combines its owner's love for Victorian curiosities with their experience in the hospitality trade. <laughs> I'm uh, Gregory and uh, this is Kirsty and uh, we own Arboretum uh, in Central Norwich. So what was the idea behind Arboretum? Both me and Kirsty have got a background in managing hospitality settings. When we both graduated our Masters in Fine Art we wanted to set up our own business but we had very little money. Uh, but we had a, a very large collection of quite um, uh, eclectic weird things. Uh, so we decided to be antique dealers, sold all of that collection, uh, used the capital to get more. Uh, a year and a half-ish later. Um, Around a year and a half, yeah. Yeah, we, we had the money to get our own premises, so it made sense to kind of combine the antique element uh, with the kind of like bar background that we had. Uh, that's how we ended up with this uh, particularly strange establishment. What's with the blank shop front? We always wanted it to be like a secret bar, uh, however you have to have like a dedicated clientele beforehand. Uh, the concept initially was that the front room would look like a living room. But why Norwich? Uh, because Norwich is weird and full of weird people and this could never work anywhere else. Uh, also, uh, the, the, the concept of a secret bar has to be in a place where everybody knows everybody. So like, you can set it up in like a town, you've got a limited demographic, but everybody will very quickly know about it. Uh, Norwich is weird because it's in that like grey area where there's like one degree of separation between everybody. What like a gigantic village. Yeah. So we're a bar and an antique shop, so everything around you is for sale but it's all like haggling and things. All our cocktails predate 1850, using traditional like British recipes. We've spent a long time sourcing them out as well, so we do like old beer, old gin, old whiskey. Tea, I mean, old like as that. in like recipes and stuff, not not, not as, old in as in we like found it underground yeah. somewhere. But, uh, but uh, <laughs> it's it's all heritage uh, and and uh, like um, eclectic heritage at that. The items um, I specialise in: uh, Victorian medical and curios and dead things. Uh, Kirsty's like domestic and rural bygones and textiles, um, all of which is British. Um, the drinks themselves are English drinking heritage that um, uh, isn't in the common lexicon anymore because of filthy Yank drinks. Arboretum is also home to Dylan the Irish Wolfhound, a gentle giant who is a favourite of customers. Listed on Arboretum's Facebook page as Head of Marketing, I attempted to get a few words. Everything in Arboretum is up for sale, apart from the dogs. Imagine having to write your dissertation on that. So if you're up for some vintage drinks and curious decor, keep an eye out for a solitary lamp above a seemingly empty shop. Ben Hinton, Norfolk Newsline, Norwich.